Welcome to Farzy's Survival World. I made this series with one goal in mind, to make the best survival world in Minecraft history. So if you like epic builds, amazing structures, and a few comical fails now and again, you do not want to miss this. Coal, iron, gold, lapis, diamond, emerald! chickens. What is up guys? It is Farzy here and today we are back in my survival world. Ignore that. I was just doing some off-camera mining there, but it turned out kind of weird. But guys, today's a very special day. We're gonna make an amazing build. I've decided today we're gonna make a Jesus tower. I mean a prayer dome. Holy house? What I mean to say is we're gonna make a church, okay? We're gonna make a church because I have a great idea for one. About a year, maybe two years ago, I actually made a church tutorial, which I'll actually link down below if you want to build this yourself. But I thought, after all these years, why don't we actually go build it in this world? Because it's actually a really cool build. But then again, it's been two years, so I might be a little bit rusty, but fingers crossed, let's go get some blocks. Now here's the thing. For this church, we're gonna use white blocks. I feel like most churches have like some white walls around it. Maybe that's just my personal area, but I feel like churches have to be white. So I wanna use either some quartz or like some bone blocks. So what do I have for quartz? Nothing. What about bone blocks? I have a couple of stacks. I could probably make a few more. But the question is, how many more can I actually make? Now, you know what? This can work. We're getting a lot of bone blocks from this. All right, bone blocks it is. A church made out of bones. That sounds kind of weird. If anyone asks, we're making this out of just quartz, but secretly we know it's made out of our dead friends. Now off to go find a good spot to put this church. Now I have one spot in mind that's been there for quite a while, but I don't know if I'm gonna regret putting it here, but oh no, let's show it off. So take a look at this area. Nice open field right here, lots of space. It's a pretty good spot, but the only issue is there's a giant ravine right over here. So I might regret building this here if the ravine's gonna kind of get in the way and make it difficult. I always could just patch it up too, but I think I will build it here just cause again, so much space. And the church is gonna be pretty big. So I think space is important. So yeah, let's get to work. Why are there two wild skeleton horses here? What the heck? All right, maybe I should sleep first. Maybe I should sleep first. Come into my trap. Come into my trap. Get in here. Get in my trap. Yeah, you're stuck in the trap. Ha ha. Ha ha. You're stuck. You're, are you stuck? I can't even tell. Creeper, come here. Creeper, come here. Let's get a free music disc. Get a disc. Come here. Yeah, get in there. All right, skeleton. Shoot him. Shoot him. Look at this. Hacks. MLG hacks. Skeleton, stop it. What did we get? Oh, we got the broken disc. What is this thing? What is this? Is What's it called? Wait, what's it called? Uh, 11? Have I played 11 yet? All right, to our disco room we go, and let's hear this bad boy. What does it sound like? I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this. This is terrifying. Why do I have this? Why? All right, you can go in there. Never play that. Never play 11. Harvey, come with me. Let's go, I need a bodyguard now, I'm scared. Okay, back to the church plan. So my tutorial does say I need a lot of blocks. I might need to go get some more bone blocks today, but at least for a start, let's begin. By the way, small reminder, once again, if you want to build this yourself, the link is down below to it. It's an old video though, kind of cringy, so don't make fun of me too much. Now for the sake of resources, I might not make this thing like gigantic. I might make it like, this is a good size, right? Like this will be the inside of the church right here. It's not huge, huge, but it's still pretty big. Like, you know what's funny, guys? The material list on that video, the tutorial, it says we need 80 to 90 stacks. I don't know if I was absolutely just incorrect or if the church is actually that massive, but we're not doing that. We are not doing that. Okay, I'm officially out of bone blocks. So let's go try and get some more. This might be a long day for me, not for you guys, because luckily I have an editor that will edit out all the crappy footage, but for me, I might be here all day getting bones, so wish me luck. Side note, I'd love to get rid of all these torches one day and put like hidden lighting in the roads. 
these torches, like when you start to notice them, there are so, so, so many, but they're just here all the time. So I kind of don't like pick up on them. But if you're like new to this series, you probably are like, what's with all the torches, man? If I were extra bone blocks, where would I be? Anything in here? Oh, I got 33. That's not bad. How about down here with the skeleton loot? Ah, not enough bones. All right, my last chance is down here. This is the old skeleton farm loot area. So this should have a lot of bones, please. <gasps> yes, baby, we hit the jackpot. We're gonna be just fine. Okay, so the whole out. The outside of the church is done, just like the shape of it. So now we're gonna fill in this roof with some nice cobblestone on both of these. We're gonna have a big roof and a smaller roof in the front. I might use all of this cobblestone. Like I might be out of bone blocks and then cobblestone. I gotta start hunting more food. Like my cooked meat chest looks like a lot of cooked meat, but I don't get any food. I have no automatic farms anymore. So what are you, what are you doing? Harvey, you broke the thing. No, but I used to have a lot of automatic food farms in this world, but I tore most of them down because the lag kind of got intense. So I have no way to get auto food anymore besides like my wheat farm, but who eats bread? That's lame. For cooked meat, I gotta go hunting again. So maybe one day, maybe even today, I don't know. At some point in the future, we gotta go hunt some animals like a primal caveman. So technically I'm supposed to have more bone blocks across here, like this kind of a thing, but for the sake of uh, lack of resources, I'm just gonna keep it like this and kind of have like a hollow roof. So we'll put the cobblestone on top of these bone blocks and hopefully we can make a cool design from the inside, but from the outside, it should look flawless and pretty seamless. Why are there so many zombies? Why do endermen steal all my blocks? Why do I hear so many zombies? Get away, this is a Christian Minecraft server. All right, guys, we got a ton of progress done. I think the entire outside is done besides like the windows and whatnot, but look at this thing. It's a oh, oh, block, sorry, sorry, my bad. <laughs> look at this thing, it looks amazing. Now the inside is still totally untouched. It's dark, it's scary. You can see the weird lighting glitches. It's terrible inside here, but don't worry, we'll fix that. But now for the final outside touches, I wanna obviously put in stain glass windows because I feel like every church uses stained glass so I think on the sides here I'm just going to whether it's now or later I'm just gonna break in like big holes like this and just put stained glass in here I guess I'll just do it now but um the spacing will be a little bit weird because stupid dumb Farsi he didn't really think about building the like length of the building the correct amount to the stained glass is like even if that makes sense i kind of just put a random number then just stopped here at this wall so the windows might not be like perfectly spaced out but i think it's good you know what guys we're getting so much progress done you deserve something special and if you're new here get your disco hats on disco break wait hold on my manager's calling me hello yeah why not i, I don't care I don't care who gets offended. I want to do the disco break. Are you serious? Oh, I'm still recording. Uh, I gotta call you back. Um, sorry, that's just my mom. Um, we can't do disco break anymore. She says I, I, I can't do it. Something about being too loud, disturbing the neighbors. I don't care, mom, it's disco time. Well, as I do these stained glass windows, I actually forgot all about the steeple. So if you guys are new to like church designs, usually there's like a, a big square structure coming out of the roof that has like a cross on the top of it. It's called the steeple if you're not religious. And yeah, I forgot about that. So I'll do that one later. But for now, let's make these little windows. Now for stained glass, honestly, there's no way to like make glass art in the small of a space. So I'm just gonna put random glass all over the place and just hopefully it looks like stained glass. And there we go, some stained glass windows. It actually looks pretty good. Now I wish I could put like a uh, like a bone block stair here, but there's no bone block stair, so that probably won't work. But uh, maybe we'll think of something else later. But at least for now, I think that's pretty decent. Now for that steeple, will this be possible? Do I have enough bone blocks? Probably not, but let's see what we can do. All right, guys, we are just finishing up the steeple or the cross rather. Bada bing, bada boom. And here's how it's gonna look if we back up. That's pretty good, right? I don't know, the cobblestone all here might be a little bit too much. Maybe I can just trim, ooh, maybe trim that off a little better, right? Maybe even some slabs instead. And how does that look? It's all right, maybe that should be a little bit taller though, the cross. Right, I'll make it a little taller. 
And perfect. Look at that thing. That is an amazing church and steeple. Obviously, the inside's not touched yet, as I said earlier, but the outside is looking rather good. I really like how it came out. Now, before I carry on, I have to go look at my skeleton farms, okay? We might have some issues going on here. So during the process of trying to get more bones for this church, I realized this farm isn't very efficient. Mobs don't really spawn here. I have a light switch, but see, when it's on, they're not going to spawn. When it's off, they're not spawning too much. It's very, like, rare they spawn here. And same thing over here. This one, which we did kind of recently, we did it, like, this year, or rather, 2020, last year, it still doesn't really work too well. So I might, I might take one of them down. You see, for my zombie farm, it's like the perfect height. It goes up the perfect height, goes down the perfect height, perfect like 23 drops to get them on one hit. It's perfect. But these guys, they're too close to the surface in the kingdom. So I had to make like weird ones where I need to like make a separate AFK room. Like the AFK rooms up here and I gotta come down and kill them over here. It's just, it's not very efficient. So here's my proposition. I might take down this glass and make this like a walk-in room to kill them. So I'll make this kind of like its own little mob spawner. Let's just try it out. If it doesn't work, I can always put the glass back. Mojang, here's an idea for you. Make it so you can insta-hit glass if you're holding a stick. Kind of like if you swung a baseball bat at a window, it would shatter. Let me do that. This is taking forever. So obviously if I do this, I'll make it look a lot nicer later, but I'm going to make just these big walls, then just to floor it under the spawner. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. So here we go, check it out. It's like a normal dungeon, like a normal mob spawner. You walk inside with like a door here or something, and you just go fight some mobs. Or I even could put like a lava system, like a lava auto kill chamber down here. You see, you know what's funny? I used to have a normal just AFK mob loot farm where the skeletons fall into a lava pit and the stuff goes into a hopper, but I thought, no, I want the XP. I want the XP. Well, I don't want the XP anymore. I don't care. So here's our new system. But regardless of this, I'll get back to this another day. I want to go finish up our church for today. But yeah, maybe next episode we'll go fix up that mob farm. All right, about three hours later. Yes, three hours. I've been working on this for a long time. We are just about done, like 95% done. So the outside looking beautiful. Not many adjustments, but still pretty nice. Now the inside, the inside is gonna blow your mind. Kablamo, look at this place, all right? Forget the pillars. I'll explain the pillars in a second, but look at this amazing red carpet. We got chairs. We got an altar, stained glass windows. We have the chalice for like making the, the wine, giant cross with glowstone in the back for hidden lighting. We have the seats for the, uh, what's his name? The priest, the priest. Now here comes the part about these pillars. I was going to surprise you guys with these amazing, beautiful pillar blocks, these quartz pillars, but they're kind of hard to get. And over the three hours I spent working on this I couldn't get enough quartz to finish it so I will do these pillars another day or another time but they're gonna go up into the ceiling and we're gonna have like a gigantic just pillar on every side of the chairs now as I referenced earlier I made a tutorial on this church so I'm gonna show you what the final product is going to look like because luckily for me in my build testing world I actually have the finished product so here we go it's gonna look like this the pillar is going all the way up some lights on top now, I did build this before there were, like, um, chains or even, I think, lamps at the time. So, this might look a little better in my world. But anyways, long story short, it's going to look a lot similar to this. I mean, again, mine is smaller because I couldn't afford to get all these bone blocks. But, yeah. It still looks really good, so I'm happy with it. And I hope you guys are, too. Now, just to address this once, because everyone loves to comment and say I have cheats on, so I'm cheating. Guys, on my Farzycraft world here, it says cheats are on, so I can go into spectator mode. That way, I can get good thumbnails for you guys for the video. So, as opposed to taking a picture, like, down here, I could go into spectator mode and fly up here and get a nice, like... Aerial, is that they call aerial shot? Like a nice sky shot. So just to clear the air there, I never cheat, never spawn anything in, never do anything that's like considered cheating. I only use spectator mode. I'm sure you guys believe me, but some people like to be a hater and they're like, he has cheats on, he built this all in creative mode. But you guys, if you watch me for a long time, you know that's not the case. I just like to get those awesome camera shots. But anyways, guys, that's going to be about it for today. But as we always do, can you guess what we're going to do next? We're gonna go and get the comment of the day. 
And today, in the comment rainbow, we have a new comment by a pretty new, but pretty loyal fan. And this commenter's name is... Harry Haran Jays and Harry says, I don't know if you'll reach a million subs or not, but I'm down with you. Our first milestone must be to reach 50k, then 100k, and so on. Keep doing what you do, Farzi. So thank you so much, Harry. I love people like you that say they don't know how far I'll get, but they're down to stick along with the ride and support me. So thank you so much, Harry. I appreciate that, and I appreciate all you guys. The church is barely visible. I kind of want to see that. Hold on. Max render distance up. FPS dropping, but let's see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I want to do this FPS all the time. If I could without lag, I would. Look how far I can see. That thing is awesome. But uh, anyways, guys, not to Babylon. We'll get more work done that church either off camera next episode or sometime in the near future. But it'll look even better, so I can't wait. But on that note, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.